Good morning everyone, Treasure Troller here on the ride home from work. So we're doing a little walk today and a little something from the road. Since this is Black History Month, I thought I would probably take you to one of the most influential places for black history. As far as entertainment goes, they made a movie about this place. So, welcome to Idlewild, Michigan. Idlewild was formed or founded in 1912. Then they, around 1920, they kind of surveyed it off and put it into plots or small lots of land. The 30s, things seemed to pick up because people began to come in and uh, put up permanent residence. And then things started to really happen. This is a small, small community. Uh, just a small rural community. It's about 35 miles off in Lake Michigan. Uh, it sits between Baldwin and Reed City. Baldwin being about five miles away. Uh, here on a couple of lakes, small lakes, there's really nothing, even today, there's, back then there was motels, hotels, restaurants, uh, a lot of activity in here, a lot of business, grocery stores. Nowadays, anything that you need, you pretty much go to Baldwin. But the one thing about Idlewild, just like the movie, was the entertainment. And this over here is one of the former clubs, the Flamingo Club. This was opened in 1955. I think they were saying like 1958 was really the big heyday. This was closed by 68. But they had big name attractions back in here, African American groups. Uh, the Four Tops. Uh, they've talked about James uh, Brown being here. Um, Aretha Franklin, the Supremes, and unfortunately Mary Wilson just died today. Uh, there were also Jackie Wilson, who Michael Jackson uh, has sort of credited him to a lot of his dance moves. At one time, during that time, there were 25,000 people here during the summer on this two-lane road. The police were here just to keep traffic flow. There was no crime here. They called this place, other than, other than Idlewild, they called it uh, Black Eden. Um, it was a place that they, a lot of times it was, because back then with segregation and Jim Crow laws, there would be workers from the auto companies in Detroit uh, and even businessmen, they would they would have money, but they had no place to spend it. But they were up here; they were more than welcome to be here. This was this was their own community. Like I said, twenty five thousand people were were in this area for the summer. It must have just been an incredible sight to see all these people. And just uh, Sammy Davis Jr. was here. And I'm going to try to find one more club down the road, but. Uh, I just, I've always, you know, I've lived a few miles from here, but I've always been, if you could go back in time to a place, this is where I would really like to have gone back to, to see what this place was like back in the late 60s or the late 50s with, um, with all the entertainers in here. So let's try to find the other club. So I was unsuccessful in finding the second entertainment place. I think we were looking at, uh, I think we were at number two there. No, we are at number six, so maybe we drove by it. Who knows? But we've seen one abandoned building. You know, we've seen a lot. But... Once the Civil Rights Act came into play 
and this this is uh, when things sort of started going down for Idlewild. But I can't help but think of Sammy Davis Jr. being here, and uh, you know, Buddy Holly and the Crickets were the first white act at the Apollo, and how some of these great entertainers weren't allowed into uh, into shall we say white venues and how Sammy Davis Jr. went from that small that small club to Las Vegas and part of the Rat Pack I mean it, that must have been quite uh, quite a culture shock to think in just a very 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 short period of time that he was part of that group that ran Las Vegas. So it's a it's a very unique town with a tremendous history. And uh, you know, I'm sure the I'm sure the uh, the movie Idlewild with uh, Outcast in it seems pretty crazy, but. Who knows, it may have been pretty mild compared to what it was really like. So, there you have your, or my contribution to Black History Month. The small, very quiet, quaint town now, but was once Black Eden, Idlewild, Michigan. This is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.